Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another bonus love read, which is going to be for whoever needs it. If you are dealing with a specific someone and you have no clue where this relationship is, uh, relationship is heading, this reading will help you know that what's going to be the future of this connection is going to be the topic for this read. So let's find out what is going to be the future of your relationship with this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with. So, whoever that person is that you have on your mind, you can check this read for that specific connection and that person. So, stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For person reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's find out what is going to be the future of this connection. What is going to be the future of this connection? Let's begin. Wow, we do have the star, nine of cups, queen of pentacles, strength, and in the deck, we do have the six of souls. You are definitely going to get married to this person. This connection is definitely going smoother than ever. And I feel like, you know, for majority of you, whether you are in no contact situation, whether you are in touch, whether you are like out of touch, having on and off, you are definitely going to get your wish granted here with this person. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, this person is going to be the one that uh, divine is going to help you find the paths with. Um... No matter what is going on between the two of you right now, I really see this connection to be uh, going forever, to be very honest. Uh, whether you get married to each other, whether you start living in together, but there is going to be abundance, there is going to be stability, there is going to be um, the happiness that you desire. Your wish is going to get granted here in regards to this connection, whatever connection that you are having on your mind. Um, try to stay hopeful, positive. I really feel like, you know, there are so many things happening right now in your life, in your person's life, uh, in the circumstances, which are basically bringing the two of you closer. So maybe at times you wonder, like, you know, I don't know, will it ever work out or this and that? Trust me, you have nothing to worry about it. You got to know one thing, like regardless of the time frame you have been together for. Uh, maybe it's been like years that you have been together, but this connection is not heading forward. Um, sometimes you feel like giving up. Sometimes you feel like moving on. I really don't see it happening. I really feel like uh, uh, you would never give up on each other. You would never end this connection. So this connection is something that you're truly wishing and hoping for. Uh, and it is a mutual energy. It's not one-sided thing. Um, so definitely, I really see this connection going next level. I really see you happy and uh confident about that as well but at times yes you do have your doubts and fears you pray around it you hope around it but then you do have your fears around it and that's why the divine really wants you to stay stay uh, confident in yourself right now around the future that you desire you will have what you want it, it's more like divine is preparing the two of you to be together so if something happens which makes you feel like i don't know maybe we are going off track just know that it's a divine plan for the two of you to come back together or to to be stronger with each other together again so i feel like you know if something goes off the track make sure that you keep reminding yourself that maybe it's a part of god's plan to bring you closer to each other so then when you think of that and with that intention you surrender you allow trust me all is going to work out way better than what you are expecting right now so i really see this connection heading forward towards your wish fulfillment towards what you truly madly wish around this connection is going to come true for you but at the same time you have to stay very positive you have to keep yourself strong uh there will be times where you would feel like uh this this uh, relationship falling apart, uh, but nothing is going to affect this connection. Um, trust me on that. You and this person will be heading forward towards having a future which is going to be more stable and more happy and uh, more fulfilling. So you and them are destined to be life partners for life. And I feel like you know, your connection is going to be getting stronger and deeper with every passing day. Um, I mean that we do have the 10 of wands. So I feel like you know whatever you are dealing with right now, stagnation blocks whatever it is it's all gonna end you're all gonna be living uh together happily forever uh, and i really feel like you know, for the majority of you you have to understand one more thing here that um you know 
the ultimate outcome of this relationship is going to be you getting married to each other um whatever happens whatever goes in the in 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 uh, in this connection it doesn't matter i really feel like you know especially if you are very strong and stable from within and you are feeling confident this connection is heading definitely towards marriage towards solid commitment that lasts forever a fulfilling relationship that lasts forever you will be having a child with this person as well uh, at least one child with this person as well and i really feel like you know you are going to move away from where you are living right now for majority of you you're going to travel away with the with this person uh, maybe you're going to travel away before this person travels towards you or with you. But yes, you will be traveling away from where you are living right now. You and your person too. So eventually, the two of you will be living together. You might be traveling towards some some country where you're going to get another nationality from. But you are not going to stay where you are staying right now. But yes, this connection is definitely heading towards marriage. That's going to be the least Thing that's going to come through so again it's very important for you to let go of the stress let go of the tensions let go of the negativity that you are having on your mind just know that this connection is definitely going to go next level um just try to keep your patience and keep your confidence uh, uh on point and that's all you need right now let's see the current situation energy that's the future that's coming in let's see what's currently going on I really feel like you know the commitment that you desire is about to come through. It's it's right around the corner. Uh, so try to keep yourself positive, excited, and happy. Uh, maybe your person is currently thinking around uh, making a proposal to you or talking about you to their family. Um, there are things that needs to be sorted out. Uh, but yes, I really feel like you know. Um, for majority of you, big changes are coming in. If you are in no contact situation, this person is going to return back to you, feeling prepared, ready to give into the connection. Uh, for for some of you, again, you do have your mental, physical, emotional blocks, which are definitely blocking you. You got to kind of like you know work on that. Uh, when you're feeling confident and good, that's when you're getting what you want with this person. That's when the love is going to come out. Uh, the love offer is going to come from this person. That's when this person is going to start thinking positively about you and the connection. Let me take one card for the person's energy towards you. You and them are strong together. And I feel like you know, this person is aware of the fact that probably nobody matches you or can replace you for sure. So there's nothing to worry about. All you need to do is to keep yourself positive and strong. Yes, you do have some mental blocks. Maybe your person also has some mental blocks around the connection uh, for some of you. But... Um, when we talk about the future, it's very promising. But yes, with the current ongoing issues or you know the situations, I feel like you know some some sort of um, um, you got to break free from some blocks that you are having. Be that around this person, overall about love, overall about marriage, overall about commitment. But yes, there are blocks. Maybe the distance could be thing on your mind that, oh, we are living apart from each other. I don't know. How is it going to happen? It is going to happen when you allow it to happen and believe that it is going to happen. So let's see the guidance for you in the given situation. What is it that you need to be doing right now to have what you truly desire? What is the guidance for you? Move forward, experience the grace of who true who you truly are. I feel like, you know, for some of you, if you are in a no contact situation or in a situation where the two of you have pulled apart, um, the divine probably has a better plan to go about things. So the divine really wants you to move forward with grace and try to move forward with uh, uh, working on yourself and truly loving yourself for who you are. For some of you, maybe a person left you already and uh, now you are thinking like, what's going to happen? Again, that's the divine part and plan uh, of the part, um, part of the plan. And I feel like and it's uh, it's very important for you to acknowledge that as one and then surrender. Maybe God really wants you to work on yourself for now and the two of you would come back together. So try and understand that. Work of art, be the portrait of divine beauty. The divine really wants you to work on yourself, your inner beauty, your physical beauty and your soul beauty. I feel like you, know, you are a divine soul and you need to acknowledge that value and worth from within to have what you truly desire let me take two more cards or one more card 
from this deck just to see what else probably you are doing wrong that you need to fix to have what you truly desire. Uh, so many cards cannot take all of them. What's the future of this connection? Okay, let's take this card and the guidance around it. You, I want to be a queen, stating your sovereignty, declaring freedom, passing a test. I feel like you know, if you really want to be the queen or the king for this man, you have to claim, if you want to be that one, you have to claim that. You have to be and act like one. So if you really want to be the love of their life or to be their husband or wife, you have to claim it. You have to affirm it. You have to believe it. You have to uh, state it to yourself, to, to your higher self, to your inner self. You have to declare that it is already done. And I feel like, you know, for that, you have to change your thought patterns. And uh, once you have done that, all is going to work well for you. And trust me, you will be surprised to see how your affirmations work. I would suggest you to make some affirmations and stick to that uh, till you start seeing them as, as your uh, outcome already. And I feel like you know, that's when everything is going to start changing for you. When you, when you, again, I feel like you know, it's very important for you to uh, change your belief system, especially when you see things falling apart. You feel like, oh my God, I don't know. It's never going to happen. A connection is going to end, blah, blah, blah. You have to stop telling that to yourself. Instead, replace that with some positive thoughts and then you will see the miracle begin so yeah that's um pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it was of help do like try and subscribe if you're willing to purchase any of the services that i offer including affirmations check the description box till i do the next reading take care and bye